Hello everyone, the topic of this video tutorial is the Category Definition section in the QSAR Toolbox. The aim of the Category Definition section is to collect mechanistically or structurally similar analogs to the target chemical. The Category Definition section provides functionalities for searching for analogs that can then be used to fill data gaps. The knowledge and metabolic simulators already presented in the Profiling section are used for this purpose. In general, a category can be defined based on appropriate knowledge or a combination of a simulator and knowledge. There are several functionalities in this general section. Define opens the list of profiling schemes that represent the knowledge based on which analogs can be collected. Define with metabolism allows defining the category by using a metabolism simulator. This is important in cases when the target is activated by metabolism. Then the system searches for analogs that have metabolites with the same alerts as the metabolites of the target chemical. Subcategorize allows refinement of the initially collected group of analogs using the knowledge available in the system. Combine allows combining two or more than two lists loaded into the same document. Clustering allows creating subgroups of chemicals that have the same functional groups or belong to the same profiling category. Cluster. Category elements, a list of preselected parameters, as well as structural, mechanistic, and absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion profilers relevant to the target endpoint are used to support the consistency of a chemical category. How to define a category is going to be demonstrated in this video tutorial. The target chemical has the identification number 3934-20-1. In this example, the target endpoint has already been defined. Please refer to the corresponding tutorial if you want to learn more about the definition of the target endpoint in the QSAR toolbox. Note that the same functionalities are available when the target endpoint is not defined. The only difference is that relevant profilers and databases will not be highlighted or sorted according to the target endpoint. In this case, the target endpoint is EC3 associated with the LLNA test for skin sensitization, which is defined in this way. The databases containing experimental data for the target endpoint must be selected, which can be reviewed in the data section. Now let us start by defining a category for our target chemical. You can select a profiling scheme directly from the list that appears below. As you can see, the profiling schemes are highlighted based on the defined target endpoint, with those that are suitable for collecting analogs, those highlighted in green, shown at the top. You can also select a profiling scheme by first clicking the Define button. Then all profiling schemes appear in a separate dialog, again reordered and highlighted by target endpoint. Select protein binding alerts for skin sensitization by OASIS and confirm. The target's profiling result appears in the next dialog. A protein binding alert was found in the structure of the target. However, three result lines are displayed because profiling is hierarchical and provides information about the domain, in this case SNAR, the mechanistic alert, this is nucleophilic aromatic substitution on activated aryl and heteroaryl compounds, and the structural alert, activated aryl and heteroaryl compounds. The search for analogs is based on the profiling result of our target chemical. There are additional options below that allow you to control how the analogs are searched. In the Combine Profiles section, the user can select how to combine the profile results of the target chemical with the logical operations N and OR. AND means that all the profile results listed above must be included in the chemical searched for. If OR is selected, it is sufficient if only one of the listed profiling results is found in the searched chemicals. The profiling result of the target chemical can also be controlled by these options here. Invert result. This means that all the remaining profiling results will be used to search for analogs, but not the profiling result listed here. Strict means that only the listed profile results found for the target should be present in the searched analog and no other categories. Sort results compares the chemicals in the category to the target chemical by applying the structural similarity profiler and sorts the chemicals in descending order of similarity. Here we can calculate the alert performance which is recommended for multifunctional chemicals and in case the target chemical is metabolically activated. More details about the alert performance can be seen in the respective video tutorial. In the present case, we confirm the listed profiling result. 
we look for analogs that have the same protein binding alert as the target chemical. In addition, they may have other alerts as the search is not strict. Let's confirm. A message will appear stating that the logical AND is being used. If you do not want to see this message again, select Do not show this dialog and confirm. The process of collecting analogs begin and it will take some time to complete. Finally, the chemicals found will be displayed in the data matrix or a message that no chemicals were found will appear. In the current case, 224 chemicals are found. Confirm the result. In the Read Data dialog, go to Choose Option, Expand Human Health Hazards and select Sensitization. With this option, only skin sensitization data needed for the current example are going to be collected. Otherwise, if the default option All is selected, different endpoint data can be collected as well, which will take more time. We can see that there are 49 chemicals with 147 data points for the target endpoint. Now we can proceed with data gap filling. For this, please watch the corresponding video tutorial. Congratulations! Now you are familiar with the category definition of QSAR toolbox.